Hey there, Adrian here from PyImageSearch.com, and today I have a very special interview for you with Jeff Bass. Now, I've known Jeff for the past three years. He's been a longtime PyImage Search reader, he's been a PyImage Search Gurus member, and he's a real expert when it comes to hacking together projects with computer vision and the Raspberry Pi. Jeff will also be speaking at PyImageConf this year, and I wanted to bring Jeff on so you could get to learn more about him and get a feel for what he'll be talking about at PyImageConf. So without further ado, I give you Jeff Bass. So thank you, Jeff, for being here today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, things are well here in California. Awesome. I wish I was in California. I am in Connecticut right now, and the allergies are so bad. This is the first day that I have not had any allergy medication, and I can feel like I can breathe. But I know tomorrow it's going to be different because East Coast problems. Well, you're going to like it here in California then, because we almost have zero pollen, because we have almost <laughs> zero water. I am, I am very jealous about the pollen aspect. <laughs> so um, you know, tell us a little bit uh, about who you are and what you've done and the projects you've worked on. Well, I'm uh, Jeff Bass and I've been working for years on statistics and applied statistics. I got my doctoral training in statistics at the University of North Carolina. And for a number of years, I worked for various companies doing statistics for them. And then I settled into a 30-year career at a company called Amgen, where I did a lot of applied statistics, a lot of it having to do with medical reimbursement. Okay. So how did, um, you know, how do you go from statistics to computer vision? How did you make that jump? Um, I've always been interested in using computers for other things besides just math and stat. And I really enjoyed learning about computer vision when I first got retired. Um, I actually used a lot of your course materials to learn about computer vision. I really awesome. liked it. <laughs> I really like it. And so um, it's a natural outreach if you're familiar with computers to go into computer vision. What I call statistics, they now call data science. And a big aspect of data science is, of course, computer vision. So I've got into computer vision because it's fun. I'm enjoying using it as a tool in helping manage my little permaculture farm. And I'm continuing to do some lifelong learning. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about the project. I know, I know you've been a longtime Pyramid Search reader and a Pyramid Search Gurus member, and I've read a lot of your updates in the forums. It seems like you're doing some really neat stuff with a Raspberry Pi. Well, I'm using uh, about a dozen Raspberry Pis at the same time, and I have them feed video into some larger computer vision programs running on Macs mainly. And those computer vision programs are watching things around the farm. The most important thing to watch in Southern California is water use. Water here is critical. And so I've used a Raspberry Pi to watch my water meter and actually tell me in real time whether the meter is spinning or not and how much water is being used per minute, per hour, et cetera. It also is very helpful because I have other people help on the farm and if they leave the water on, it can be very expensive very quickly. So I have alerts set up so that if the water's running for more than a few minutes, I get a text. That's really cool. You know, to be honest, I get a, not a lot of questions, but a decent amount of questions saying, you know, I'm looking to do computer vision for water meter, uh, water meter monitoring. I'm like that's, that's such an interesting use of computer vision. I never, I never heard of that before. I, I just never had a reason to study it. But now it just makes so much more sense when you're on the farm, like you can't be everywhere. You have acres and acres and, uh, of land and you need something like a Raspberry Pi to monitor it. That's a really, really neat project. Some other things I'm doing with the Raspberry Pi is including monitoring other aspects of the farm. For instance, sunlight per day and per month is really important. So I actually have a Raspberry Pi aimed at a shadow that I have set so that the sun shines on it during the day. And by monitoring the depth of that shadow, how dark is it? I know how bright the sun actually is, whether it's hazy or not. And I can predict what kind of photosynthetic reaction I'm going to get out of my plants. Wow, that is such a neat application. I love, I just love, it gets me so excited seeing computer vision in the real world and how people are applying it to their own projects. Um, so you're going to be a PyImage Conf in August this year. You're going to be a speaker. Um, what are you going to be talking about? Well, a lot of what I'm going to be talking about is what I've done with Raspberry Pis and computer visions here around the farm. So I'm especially going to use the water meter example. I think that's a very helpful example about how you tie multiple Raspberry Pis into a central computer vision server. I'm also going to talk about other aspects of the project. Exactly how did I get the communication between the computers to work? Um, how do I keep the computers running through power failures, through internet outs? Because it's, I, reliability is a problem on any farm with everything, and computers are the same thing. So minor internet glitches cause things to go out, and I've written programs to take care of that. Excellent. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, Jeff. I, I appreciate you hopping on this call and just having 
a quick interview discussing who you are and you know, your, uh, your successes and the projects you've been doing on computer vision. So I really appreciate it, Jeff, and I'm sure PyMix search readers will as well. Great. Talk to you soon. See ya.